probably the biggest event, the catastrophic event here was we missed it. The, that was the flood in 2013. We'd gone to BC to be with my son and his family and it, it, the flood occurred and my son who works here is the uh, utilities foreman in talking to he, he was keeping us up to date on what was going on. And he said, don't come, we've got enough people to take care of already. So we waited until it was safe to come home and then came and by then, of course, you know, things were over. That was the one that guess, because it's previous and my memory's getting really bad, that's the one that <laughs> sticks. Yeah, I, well, the, the changes in, in this place have been pretty tremendous in the time that I remember. It went, actually I went from a pretty good sized company town, at least around the cement plant, to what it is today, where it's a, you know, a vast spectrum of people that live here and travel different directions to their jobs and so forth. That's the, actually I was, I don't even remember what the population was, but it was all pretty well all situated on the, on the west side of the creek where the plants now. Uh, there were a few places developed down here prior to 1974 when the big move came. Fortunately, it has, it has retained the small town feel, something that a lot of us appreciate. We've lost some, some amenities, such as Curling Rink Bowling Alley. Um, but then we, we, we've become more mobile and they haven't been uh, much less available. Really, the, and the, I'm not sure what the right word is, but the mixture of people has changed considerably from the day when pretty well everybody worked at the plant or the plants, including the, the lime plant and the rock wool plant and, and bay mag uh, to innumerable different uh, occupations of people who live here now. Plus the, the age uh, spectrum has changed so much between the time we moved back here in 71 and mm, say 10 years ago, uh, it was becoming more and more of a retirement town. People retired from the plant and had built their own homes here, most of them, and decided to stay. But then with age and attrition, um, it became, <laughs> first of all, a retirement home, then it became a, a retirement town, and then it became a widow's town because the, most of the men passed away. And of course, the widows moved out to uh, lodges and so forth, and, and it, changed, it changed into a much younger town. Young couples came here. One reason for that was being that the real estate was cheaper. Um, and they, of course, developed their young families. And so it, it's changed completely from an old, I call them codgers town, to a young family town. We live next door to the playground, so we, we see every day the way the population here has changed.